how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here. Welcome to the toy review for Star Wars The Black Series Scar Trooper Mick. So he's one of the Scar Squadron figures. Really hoping we end up getting all six because I mean they're really really cool. And they're the Stormtrooper Task Force 99 compared to the Bad Batch. So this is, get some cool art right here. Some cool art on the sides. And then his own little character profile. You get this, it comes with a jetpack and a blaster, and he's supposed to be six inches tall. Pop this open here. Shows the figure as is, and then it says on here, Scar Trooper Mick is part of the Special Commando Advanced Recon Team called Scar Squadron, also known as Task Force 99. This tight-knit group is accustomed to operating on its own in the most hostile environments. You get kind of a weird uh, picture of him right there. So let's go ahead and take him out of the box and see how he is. Alright, and here's Mick out of the box. Uh, so let's first talk about accessories. He gets a jetpack that I just dropped here. I'll show the articulation on that really quick after showing it off. It's a cool little jetpack. Even got the details of the jet burners right there. And then you kind of just tug at it here. It will pop out um, if you're trying to fully extend it, but it extends like so, looking cool doing so. So yeah, I am going to kind of close it on here though while we put it on them. And what's cool is it's got the antis to the Stormtrooper back piece, so it actually clips on and it's very secure on him. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Uh, but he also comes with a blaster. No holster like Sergeant Krill, but you can have him hold it, obviously. Um, and then just talking about sculpt. Um, this is mostly Stormtrooper armor, except this piece is loose, which is cool. And then the helmet is completely its own thing. You got a little comm link. You got some indents on the mask. And then for paint job, you got some uh, blue paint. And then you got some of that for apps. And then you got the little wrist, wrist communicator, um, which is also very cool. And then for the 360, that's what he looks like with his jetpack on. So, I mean, he kind of looks mostly like a standard Stormtrooper, except for a few things, which I feel like is kind of the theme for most of Star Squadron, because here he is with Sergeant Krell. Uh, they look great together, obviously. Um, I, like I said, I really hope that they make a full team uh, in the long run, just to even have them like against the Bad Batch. So he is the jet guy of the team. Bad Batch doesn't have a jet guy, so I don't really have somebody to compare him with. But I mean, I guess here's Omega, because really nobody on that team's compared with her. So yeah, I mean can't really, it's like comparing apples to oranges, you know? Um, he does come in at six inches tall. And let's talk articulation. Head can rotate 360, go up and down, side to side. Arms can rotate around, go up, go down. You got movement here too, which is new, I think. Oh no, that's the same on Krell. Um, but yeah. And then you got the elbow joint and rotation. You got the hand rotation. Um, and then this is loose. So you can also move it here like that on the torso. Legs can go like so. And then also thigh swivel. That's kind of limited because it's trooper armor. Bend at the knee and twist at the knee. And then of course feet can move. So I'm a sucker for military figures or I mean you know what I mean. Uh, infantry figures and like specialist figures too. So I really like this figure. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. I'm really hoping we get the rest of it. Even if like their big guy, I forgot his name, but their big guy is just a repaint or wrecker, I'd totally be fine with that. Um, but yeah, so this is a really cool figure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I should have said this yesterday, but happy August. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. 
follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan signing off. Thank you.